How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Penumbra Overture. This is the first part of um, three. There's Penumbra Overture, then there's Black Plague, and then there's Requiem. And I really wanted to start playing this game since I played through Soma. And I actually have never played through these. I really don't know that much about frictional games outside of, you know, Amnesia and now Soma. So I'm going to be playing through this and... I met Junger enjoy it immensely. I really don't even I don't even know what the monsters are. Alright, let's begin. My story begins in February year two thousand. Which is fifteen years ago. Which is crazy to think about. For my part in this allegory, I'm not gonna make the same mistakes my father made. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I've ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course. I went, as he knew I would. I discovered that, despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Okay, so, interesting opening. I knew that this game had a little bit to do with like, so no, okay, finally we almost docked. I better show my gear. I'd maybe be, I may be far from home, but chances are that I still pick things up using left mouse and I can take closer look at things with using right mouse. Huh, so I'm certain the map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks change so much in Greenland, so I have a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Oh, things don't change much. Good scientist always keeps a pen and paper handy just in case. Always good to have a notebook and to jot down interesting information and P reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. I can open using left mouse on it, holding the right down and moving. Oh, okay, so that's just explaining how... There we go. So they were kind of explaining how you use these kind of mechanics, which I know at this point, after playing Amnesia, okay. Flashlight switches on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully through the MF for flashlight, everyone knows that. Now, when the last emergency glow stick should be on the locker, keys are in the inventory tab. So, I can... Eh. Okay, so I can, I have an inventory, I put it on one, or whatever I want. Okay, so there's glow stick, and handy torch runs out of batteries. Why does he keep saying torch? It's a flashlight. You should be able to access it through the inventory or with the shortcut G. Extra batteries to power my flashlight. Alright. Hey, soup. And then what was in here? Here's Eric. Just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I left you a little something to remind me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. 
I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest, but that is, does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea. I'd be praying every... Oh, I've been... I will be praying every night for you to make your catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed these overalls of yours. I know you got them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that you had a wash. Before I forget, the Hendricksons of the village have asked me to see if you're coming to buy any trout, but I have no idea they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them. To celebrate when you come home to me, the ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. Fisherman wife. Oh, okay, so the, so I have notes. To-do list. Okay, so that's how I recheck my notes. Aw, she left me booze. I actually wasn't sure that that was going to break, but I guess it did. So I am the captain then, or I was looking through the captain's nose. But I'm pretty sure that means I'm the captain. Alright, let's head out. As I stepped off the boat, setting into the blizzard around me, I realized the boat had been taken to discovering my father's past. I have no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first. But I lost feeling in the extremities soon after, and new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. So cold, don't know where I am, need shelter soon. So I imagine my inventory of my entire hands went numb long ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. It's some kind of animal, and I couldn't read the last word. Fuck. If I click and hold the interact button and manage that rock, the cold makes me weak. I can still throw things using the exam button and carrying something. Okay. And I jot down a note just in case. Okay, so I can't open this quite yet, but that's definitely where I need to go. I need to find a way into there. Maybe? Do I, do I need to throw a rock at it to break off the ice? Roll! Roll, rock! Alright. I feel stupid if that was the simple answer. Alright. It was! You're supposed to break it. I hope to God it not frozen inside as well. So weak, but I just use interact gym mode. Oh, there we go. Okay. Come on. I'm on. There you go. Now I open you. Alright. Make it into wherever I'm going, whether it be a lab or... I'm still a little confused about it. I didn't really elaborate on why he just, like, wandered off. So the door broke. I'm not in control, otherwise I'd turn on my flash. Whispering. Whispering's always nice. Hello, Whispering. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell this far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Oh, okay, so the ladder broke up there. I should have known the rusty old ladder wouldn't hold my weight, but I didn't have any choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer the cold any longer. Yeah, that's... That's kind of the heavy wooden barrel. Couldn't even see anything inside. I can't lift those, obviously. I'm gonna try and hold on to my battery life a little bit. Got a steel rod. Player. Duck must be something in the way. Hello. I can't I can't read you. Probably not important supplies. Get out of here. Hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold the left mouse. Eh, swing me, pull my. So it works too, pulling back, thrusting. Ooh! 
do a stabbing motion with it. Oh, okay, I can lean to the side and look too. So the mechanics are essentially the exact same as Soma, just with an inventory. Let's map these right now. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so I can I can do the jabbing. Okay. Can I put that away now? Nope. Oh well, it was worth a try. I was thinking it might break. Oh, okay. I can move. Oh, I'm suddenly the strongest man ever. Come on. There you go. See to crouch. Can I crouch? All right, there we go. And it was controlled to crouch. What's up here? What do we got? Oh. Oh, this is different. Okay. Oh, I could have just gone either way. Wow, that was kind of dumb of me just to go back. You're shifting. Looks like there's some industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center, there's no way to operate. Okay, so I need some sort of, uh... Oh. The hatch is seriously solid, I won't open by hand, something I obviously want to keep people out or in. Alright, well that's open now. I don't see how that helps me though, but I need a, um, I need a lever to stick in there. Look. Can you see exit? That doesn't help me. Alright. I'm really happy though that I'm, like, playing this game just from the fact of, like, th this is basically, it it's a classic at this point. I mean, it it, it is only... You know, seven years. I didn't miss anything in here, did I? No. Do I have anything in my inventory, though, door? Headlock. Oh, the metal bar. What am I thinking? All right. Metal bar. Okay. Now I can do that. Okay, that's as far as it goes, just because of that. Whenever I was descending into, I was 100 feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I don't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that the entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in a workplace, friends, families, lovers, all there if anything goes wrong part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions once again i felt like i did what i was in middle school surrounded by a close ring of older kids knowing anyone that might help me friends parents teachers were too scared or too far away i've jotted down a note just in case what the oh, that's a weird way of like looking when i press r Anything here? Let's put their hide for a couple seconds. Perfect. Still, there isn't a creature already, is there? Like properly hidden? Or is this just to, like tell me I died? Oh, a map. Okay, storage, workshop, explosives, northern area, and the offices. Huh. Let's see, all this we're using Harfen Lancer lamp, lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. I turn it on though. Be nice if I could turn it on. Okay, I'm going towards the offices, I think. Going 
in the offices. This is a very, like, this is a very cool setting. I like this, where it's... Backstrand? Okay, 15 August 1945, emergency airship Zulu, another remarkable week in Greenland. Regu unremarkable. Regular supply shipments received, standard emergency drilled carry out, routine runaway maintenance complete. One wounded, the one wounded figures caused no concern in London. The Germans have not extend their front line by 4,000 miles. Who the men were? Oh yeah, this would be during um, World War II. Germans have extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufactured cherry bombs in the workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. Take partial responsibility in this and I have allowed them access to the demolition manuals we keep in the storeroom. And I'm sure that they want the ingredients as precautionary measured. I have now locked up the manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. Didn't appear to be anything helpful. Alright. Another note. Alright. I, I'm, I don't feel like reading everything. I'm just gonna scan. Buddies, further investigation, schizophrenia, page four, known as the two gate, live in the mounds. Okay, spirits live in the mounds. And if you wanna read all this, you can, okay, there's a key too. There we go, small key. If you want to read all this, you can pause it and read. I I just feel like I'd be wasting both of our time by sitting here and reading every single note as I come across them. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange and yet he is no stranger. Never before seen before, still I know the man before me is Howard. I call him father. There, what the hell? What it just happened? I don't know. It's such a good idea. I'm still gonna read notes, but I'm not gonna read every, like 100% of the notes out loud. Picture British platoon. It must date back to the World War II. I suppose this mine is converted in some sort of bunker. Check this one. Yeah, I did. All right, batteries. Doesn't appear to be a necessary bar that easily indicates run one in shelves and moisture grates. The whole room is pure fire. But um, I was gonna say there doesn't appear to be a bar that necessarily tells me um what my battery life is. There we go. All right, what I get? Book of explosives. Chapter 1.3, Black Mask Fuse, String, Gunpowder, Extant. Oh, I gotta make my own bomb right now. Okay, so I probably need to find String and the Black Gunpowder, and then I already have the Extant. Dynamite, one part, Demosia Earth, three parts, Nitroglyceride, and small marts of Sodium Carbonate. Armstrong mixture, red phosphorus, barium. Okay, that's probably gonna be important. I'm probably I'm gonna have to go back to that note at some point. Hello, what are you? Painkillers. So that's probably a health kit. <laughs> just get her. Just nom 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 nom. Pop a couple of pills. Beef jerky. Beef jerky would not be okay. Oh, that's my battery life. Okay, and then that's my health. Beef jerky would not be okay to eat this this long. More beef jerky. I'm not. Does that take up two separate? Okay, it, it's one. All right, continuing on. I need to find the string and something else. I already forgot what it was.
god something. I can't wait to see whatever around the corner he tied. Oh, it's just a puppy. It's just a dog. Hi, dog. Hello. Hi. No. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Alright. That's the final unknown. Oh, he's chewing on me. Okay. I, I figured that the checkpoints in this game would just take me back. Far? Okay. Oh god, something else down here. I can just wait for order of the corner and he died. Okay. Well, there's the first enemy. It's a undead dog. Jesus. Never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. Oh, okay. So there is an effect when I look at the enemy. So, so this does date back from Amnesia and Soma. That when you look at the enemies, they they mess with your sanity or your overall levels of um, you know security. So you're afraid when you look at them. Which would make sense, that's how you would actually be if you're in a situation. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily know that the dog was, like, dead looking. Okay, got down a note just in case. Can't get in there. Storage room. And I mostly, the first time I ran up to that dog, it was honestly just like, I've wanted to do that in a game for a little while. Just be like, oh, totally serious situation. Don't pay any attention to it. Now like, oh Jesus, like. You gotta pay attention a little bit. All right, nothing here. This totally serious situation, just, hi doggy. Hello, maybe he just wants to be my friend. That's why he was just chewing on me. He just he wanted one of my bones so I could like throw it for him. All right, let's see. It's locked. Uh, box of papers with rusty nails. Locked from the other side. That does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God, maybe I can get some answers. It was a. If the lighter wasn't empty, it'd be in handy to have. Oh, okay, so lighter, fuel, happy, happy fire. To either a child or a deranged mind. That's, what is this? Like flies equals sad face. Hello. Oh, we got, a, we got some rocks in here. Got my safety rock. Okay, let's see. Got some med kits. I don't know what this is. The last time I touched one of those, it was like a weird, like, exposition moment or it's kind of explaining more to me. Let's see if it does anything again. It was different, but the same this time. Like, I had more control, but over what? It's just chanting. May never get used to that. Okay, so I'm imagining whoever's in there is dead because of the flies. Okay, got a new safety rock. Um, I'm gonna make a quick look back at this room. I don't think there's anything to do. Okay, can't pull that. Back into the, back in the doggy corridor. Okay, I don't have fuel, otherwise I could light those. Wait a second. No, that's why the rocks were in there. Here I was investigating 
other areas and then I can't figure out what to do. Okay, what do I do? Oh, it opens up this way. We're opening up this way then. Can I open you? Can I please? There you go. I don't want to go down in the hole. Alright, I'll go down in the hole. I got my trusty hammer. Anything gets close to me and I'll just whack ya. Spiders? No problem. It, yeah, it didn't look like a spider. Christ, was that a spider? Uh, here's a dog covered in spiders. Luckily, it's heart mummified. Else, it would been smelling awful. Okay, so spiders are a problem in this game. I don't like that very much. Nope. Can I read? Some sort of diary entries. Oh, I'm holding the hammer so I can't look at it. Okay. Day one, I began this recording still. I hope the great work we have undertaken has been one day be the scientific value despite the chaos which has ensure, ensued the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what happens here maybe it arrives. Okay, so he's stuck here. Day three, I forecast the lucky that she rescue crews would arrive but I can only hypothesize they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors if I am not arrived tomorrow if help does not arrive tomorrow I will have to go out and search of them day six my first mistake was making the assumption on the matter of my rescue my second mistake was the assumption on the safety of this mine the third mistake was the act of both these assumptions going outside for my safe haven probably was cold although the specimen bore significant interest in me I chose to retreat only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast I turned and ran injuring my ankle in the process which I believe is now most likely a sprain rather than a fracture at least scant I ventured out again until I am certain the area is safe a 19 rescue seems increasingly unrealistic supplies diminishing well, lots of spiders in this place I do not like spiders same here buddy I arrived I caught one of them obscured a legged beast nestling in my open mouth when I woke this morning in my surprise I swallowed it it's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me but the genius of arachnid I would most likely that a cave dwelling spider would be venomous to a significant degree but the possibility of troubles at the same time day 35 any known venom would have affected me by now but so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident by lucky coincidence this revelation also means I've discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures natural habitat day 50 for four, day, for four days now I've been surviving slowly off the quite considerable sustenance Wow, he's been surviving on spiders. I haven't tracked in enough of the beast for a rather healthy meal. Dusty old bags. That doesn't look like a pile of dusty bags, but if you say so. I got the feeling that steam could call blisters. I don't know if it's seen. Okay, so I don't want to get hit by steam. Hey. Note. Day 71. Wow, my earlier assumptions, the benign nature of my cellmates, may have been made in error. I, am, after a careful autopsy, I am concerned there may be a small volume of natural chemical stormed in the stomach, in which injector uh, may cause psychotrophy or even lethal. I have no source of light. I swore to myself I would leave until I heard human voice outside. Spiders are so tasty. Day 100. Uh, wow. Months. All fails. May never be rescued. Only pray that the section rule deemed my unbreak to significance for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Wow. They weren't the size pieces I would say they look like eggshells. What are they? Oh, it just looks like remains from somebody. Wow. Oh! That is the final unknown. I...
Guess I died. Alright, before I go that way, I'm just gonna look this way real quick, see if there's anything else. Oh, ladder. Okay. I don't know what this ladder is gonna provide. Might as well take it with me. Oh, can I maybe attach it here and then I'll... Yep, okay, so that's how I get back out. Makes sense. Come on. Alright, back to the steam. So I have to go through here. Damn. It's still hitting me. Alright, I'll just... I'm on some jerky, I guess. Can I? Oh! The, okay, so the jerky actually isn't for... It's not for that reason, it's to attract the dog. Okay. Am I still getting hit? This guy get through. Okay, alright. Well, I'm hurt. I don't know what to do there. I think I was just going at the wrong times. There's a padlock, but I have a hammer, so. There you go. Padlock. Bye bye. Ooh, lighter fluid, so that's what I needed. And batteries. Okay. So I'm going to end the video right here. It um, I'm just going to start heading back right after this in the next part. So for now, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.